I was ready to, to take off and I say and I say him forget it my friend I am give you your power when I come back from the landing zone I don't think you know you know get back I'm going that I'm going for, for the air going to the air say he said me are you crazy you know what are you doing yeah I know what I am going to do please go back <laughs> and say Pedrito help me put put with me and make a very good fly when I take off I turn right and get into the dynamics and I go in maybe 200 meters the takeoff is 80 meters of height and I make a fly of 200 meters yeah the takeoff zone there are a, a television tower of maybe 60 meters be I mean over the, the, the over the, the hill no I am I am remember the television towers very short very very short behind my feet <laughs> so I was flying around maybe 40 minutes maybe 40 minutes then I was my, my first uh, <laughs> uh, asymmetric collapse <laughs> in that uh, fly. I remember because I was too nervous and was too high for the first time. Then in one of the two, I remember because of why, why, why it was my, my collapse? Because I overpiloted the wind. And I was overpiloted, tried to control uh, with thumb off movements. Then in a when, when I in, in in a moment I remember going to the right the, that wing is tough maybe the cops and uh, I mean hanging in my my right hand and so yeah this is a collapse okay I remember that in the book that I wrote say a uh, poor a little break in the other hand, then pull a chief with the wave, then uh, push uh, very hard with the hand that is in, a, in the collapse. And I do very fast the same and open very well the, the, all the wind. Okay, that works. Going ahead to the turning point make a turn and go in I'm separate ah, when I do the turn I am uh, make a large turn to see the the, the, the people and, uh, and to ask you if they see see what happened to my wing when I flew over over there I remember that I put some break and asked him do you see it do you see it <laughs> Every one of, of you see that, you know? I'm going to land right now. <laughs> and I make a turn and go into the landing zone. Landing, packing the paragliders, the paraglider going to the hill and give it to the to that person. I give you what? Flying very good. You know that I told you. You, do you see? If you turn right, you can get into the name, <laughs> as I told you. Well, it was my first time. If you, if you know, okay. the 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 the, the was not from him. Belonged to Lazaro Santa Cruz, because in a Spain, in a travel to Spain, Laureano given to Lazaro Santa Cruz that rider, and that rider traveled all the Cuba, I mean, I suppose all the Cuba uh, in, or, uh, or, I mean, I don't know how many pe people fly that glider and uh, the interesting thing is that from from that place once, uh, from that day my friend Fabio uh, tell me, listen, the next time that I go into Europe I don't bring anything for me. You should 
that I am going with the paraglider. I don't know how. I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to work, but I buy a paraglider. I, we need a paraglider. <laughs> you know. Then, in the next, maybe one year, one year after, or two years after, I don't know. Are you going to Europe in the summer? And when he come back, he bring with two paragliders. <laughs> then he tell me, Eliezer, I, uh, he called me, I am going to his home, and he told me, Eliezer, I don't have anything for me, but I have two wings. <laughs> no, no, three wings, I remember, three wings. He told me, I remember, it's a curiosity. When come back to the airport here in Cuba, as you know, the, in the aduana, in the customs, you know how hard is the the idea, no? But Fabio looks like uh, uh, Europe uh, people, no, not like a Cuba, because he's, he was blonde, tall, and very very white, and he asked him. Uh, to a chairman that was in a plane in the same flight could you please could you make me a favor could you put that a backpack with you in your in your luggage to to cross the custom it's fine it's no problem for you uh, for the way you know and the chairman people say this yeah of course no problem and they pass to the custom with no problem well, what do you do in Europe? What do you do to the time that he tell me? No, you don't believe me. He told me. My mom uh, works in the university in Prague. Uh, he teach Spanish with the university students to travel to Spain with him, his mom, no? When he was in Spain, he copied here in Cuba the phone number of the of Laureano Casado. Because Laureano Casado was a, some, well, something like a manager of a paralyzing club that name is Zeros. Uh -huh. And he copied the number, and when we, he was in Spain, he called Laureano. And he told him, yeah, he, he sent me Laureano, asked me to the phone, hello. And I said, hello, this is Laureano Casado. He told me, yes. I am Laurena Casao. Then uh, he tell, I am Cuban. My name is Fabio. Okay, Laureano, I am a student of the University of Havana. I would like to do a paralleling club with a student at the University of Havana. I don't have the way. Please, could you help us? And Laureano say, <laughs> Okay, I can. Uh, see you tomorrow because I must to do a job in that place but you in Madrid the day after tomorrow uh, yeah yeah it's no problem for me well we must to meet in that place you if you are agree uh, we are going to fly tomorrow in Amtral would you like it um, Fabio said, of course, I <laughs> this is very for fly. Laureano say, okay, tomorrow I pick you, I take you in that place and going with me to the to the our airport to fly with me in ultralight. Well, he flew with Laureano in ultralight, he showed me the picture. Laureano said him, okay Fabio, I can give you that paralyzed for you. He gave the first two wings. Was old, but for us was the first two wings.